The story about Eva Harrell leaving her very obvious anti-abortion past off her website made national news, y'all. This week, HuffPost posted the article, New Mexico Republican leaves anti-abortion past off campaign website, and we're so fucking happy about this. Let's bust out some receipts. So the HuffPost article is calling out Yvette Harrell's website as it is currently for leaving out her very strong anti-abortion stance. But back in 2020, when she was actually running, you can see her pro-life manifesto right here. Throughout her time as the representative for Congressional District 2, she really did not represent New Mexican values of respect and the dignity to make your own personal decisions on abortion. She co-sponsored all of the bills popping up right now. That's 27 anti-abortion bills in our US House of Representatives. So we gotta know, why is Yvette Harrell now suddenly trying to hide her true self? Maybe it's because she's changed. Or the more likely scenario, she's been counseled by the Senate Republican campaign arm, just like she was advised to support IVF. We know that the GOP has a playbook for 2025, and we know the name of the game is deception. The GOP have realized that going so hard on anti-abortion isn't working. It isn't winning them in the elections. Not that a lot of them even believe in fair elections to begin with. Still talking about you, Yvette. But in the years since Roe was overturned, there remains a consistent and growing support for abortion rights in our country. From a Navigator report, three in five Americans identify as pro-choice. In another report, a majority of Americans still believe in access to birth control and they think that it should be much easier to access. So now the plan is to downplay their anti-abortion agenda, which is exactly what Yvette Harrell was trying to hide. But the HuffPost got her. We're not fooled by her game of hide and seek on abortion access and you shouldn't be either. Ha! Got he! Ha! Got he! Ha! 